Hi, I'm Moses Gumali. Welcome to my video blog. Today I want to talk about climbing the value mountain. Climbing the value mountain. What is this value mountain? I'm going to show you a bit later, right? Something like this. It's a terrain and there is a plateau, there is a peak and there is a valley and your business operations and the position of your business operations on this particular terrain, whether it's on the plateau or on the path towards the peak, or, or is it on the edge of the cliff where it's about to fall into the valley, depends on a couple of key drivers, which I will explain uh, and, and also talk about how you could start moving towards the required direction. Okay, first, what is value? What is long-term value? Long-term value of your business operations is defined like this. It is the sum of all discounted free cash flows the investors are expected to receive in the future. Who are the investors? The shareholders and the debt holders. If you are the business owner, you are a shareholder and you would expect to receive some dividends in the end of it, right, when you make a profit. Right. So all these free cash flows that are supposed to be paid to the investors, uh, shareholders and the debt holders, of course, in the future, this year and the next year in the future. Right. If you bring them to the present year, discounting them using the cost of capital, then what you get is the financial figure, the numerical quantitative number or the long term value of your business operations. Right. And. And before we go further, let's try to uh, understand what is free cash flow. Free cash flow essentially is, right, after you, you take your profit, net operating profit less adjusted taxes, that particular number, no plat, right? So it's a profit. Uh, um, it, it's slightly different from what you see uh, on your income uh, and p &L sheet. It is not a profit after tax. It's straightforward. Slight adjustments need to be made. However, it is something like a profit after taxes, okay? And you keep some money within the business, right? Keep that as a reinvestment into the business. And the remaining, you take it uh, and it is available for the distribution as, uh, you know, as a dividend to the shareholders. So that's, that's the point. That's the free cash flow. The free cash flow equal to no plat minus investment net operating profit less adjusted taxes. Now, if you look at the no plat itself, right, there are three components. You have revenue minus cost, that's the profit, and then you also pay the taxes. And what is left is no plat. But why do we invest within the business? Why don't we take off all the profits and distribute to the to, to the shareholders? Uh, the simple reason every one of us knows that we will we, we use this investment for several things. First of all, most importantly, for the working capital of your business operations to run for the next year or the next period, right? So it is used as a working capital, but also you must use a part of this investment for growth. For growth of what? Growth of the revenue, right? And cutting down all the costs and other initiatives which help you to increase the no plat year on year. So the reason why you take lesser free cash flow this year by investing is to ensure that the, your, your no plat will increase next year. Again, you invest, the, uh, the no plat will increase in the following year, etc. That's the phenomenon that is supposed to happen in your business operations. Okay, now this has been, so, so, that, so that's the meaning. So if you take all these free cash flows, that you would receive in the future or your shareholders uh, would receive or your investors will receive in the future this year and the future and discount them to the current year what you get is the long-term value of your operations which can be given uh, using this expression that you see on the screen uh, and is widely popular uh, method of actually evaluating companies okay and this formula is a very simplistic formula. You can calculate today the value of your business operations by simply three numbers. Very rough approximate calculation, okay? Get your no plat uh, first, right? The net operating profit less adjusted taxes. Get that number 
and determine if, 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 the, if the no plot is increasing or the revenue is increasing at a particular rate, right? Maybe 2% or 3%, whatever rate that is, or 5 or 10%, whatever rate at which it is growing. So that's the growth rate, G. And ROIC is the return on invested capital. Now, this picture, as it shows, that, right? So the ROIC, ROIC, and growth rate are the drivers of your value right they are the drivers of your value now if you take this formula and plot it like this your value right is dependent on ROIC and growth so anything that you do in your business to improve it must improve ROIC and growth or one of them at least right and you, you can see this colored plot is a contour plot there. The value is shown by the color code on the right side, right? And as you increase the value, uh, ROIC on uh, to the um, ROIC is on the horizontal from the left to the right. As you increase the ROIC, your value increases. As you increase the growth rate, your value increases too. Now, what's the val value mountain I've been talking about? Take this plot into the three dimensions. If you go up the helicopter, right? So you see, or uh, see, look from a perspective and this is how it looks that's the same plot that i showed earlier this is how it looks there is a plateau there's a plateau and there is a valley and there is a peak okay depending on your position on uh, on the roic and the growth rate you can simply pinpoint where your operations are at the moment are you on the plateau are you on the path towards the peak Right? Uh, or are you on the edge of the cliff uh, to, uh, about to fall into the valley? This is something that you must know where your business operations are. What I'm trying to essentially say is that you must know your current position. Right? Anything that you want to in improve in your business. If you get a consultant, if you get a Lean Six Sigma expert or a Lean manufacturing if you want to implement or a Toyota production system, or Kaizen's or whatever you may want to do, right? So ensure that those things will take you from this current position. You need to know where you are on the value map here, right? And you, it must take you to the target position. Have an aim, have an ambition of taking your business operations to that level towards the path of the peak like this, right? If you go back, so you, you want to grow uh, and uh, move on to the peak and uh, so that's, that's your target position. So increase your ROIC, increase your growth rate, and you will be on the path to the peak. Thank you very much.